The 2021 Mini John Cooper Works GP is a lot of things. It's a third iteration of the brand's flagship performance trim. It's a car that goes a little too crazy on the aerodynamic treatments. And oh yeah, it's the most powerful Mini ever made. Packing 302 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque from a turbocharged 2-liter engine, it's a monstrous little hatchback that feels more like a muscle car than a proper Mini. But just how powerful is the new GP? To find out, we tossed it up on the dyno at Detroit Tuned, one of the country's premier shops for Mini performance. With owner Chad Miller at the helm, the Mini proved a less than eager participant on the Mustang Dyno. Its digital gauge cluster, new for the GP and Cooper SE and coming to other Mini products soon, made accessing the car's hidden Dyno mode, a common but deliberately hard to find diagnostic feature, a challenge. We spent a fair amount of time trying to get around the electronic nannies before finally figuring out how to access the right mode. With the electronics now working in our favor, we set out on a series of three runs, with JCW GP making a pretty solid showing that lined up more or less with what Mini was quoting. This is disappointing if you were hoping for a big surprise here, but not too shocking considering it was a very hot, very muggy day when we hit the dyno. After three runs, the JCW GP was consistently returning around 261 horsepower and 256 pound-feet of torque at the wheels. Assuming the usual 15% parasitic loss going from crank to wheel horsepower, the horsepower figure was nearly spot on. The torque rating was on the low side though, coming in just below 300 pound-feet at the crank when it should be producing 332. Then again, the GP is such a handful on the road, a 12% drop in torque would probably be a good thing. For more on the Mini John Cooper Works GP, check out our full first drive at MotorOne.com.